end of final cutting, crashing down on this fine piece of televisual action. Let's take one last look at a feature. This is the California-Nevada state border, just outside of Las Vegas. Behind me, you can see Desperado, what's supposed to be the world's tallest, most frightening roller coaster. Am I scared? Yeah, right. See, absolutely nothing to be scared of. It may have the kind of drops, banks, and twists that separate normal punters from their most recent meals, but my blasé attitude is the result not just of being incredibly hard, but the fact that every inch of this ride has been designed and tested by computer. Aerodynamics in Utah are the people responsible for some of the world's most spectacular roller coaster rides, featuring corkscrews, boomerangs, and hairpin bends that would have been downright rude without the computing power of their specially designed roller coaster software. The initial plan for a ride begins as a single line that defines the proposed path of the new coaster. Once this has been cooked up, dedicated software programs take over and calculate the speed of the vehicle and the various forces that the track, cars and, most importantly, the punters will be subjected to along every stage of the ride. Potential problems are identified by blokes rocking dangerously on chairs who can change the track accordingly. This period of testing and modification can take anything up to a year to complete. Once the basic outline of a track's been decided, other computer programs take over, adding the support structure that will be needed. Eventually, a detailed 3D image of the ride is produced, allowing the Arrow designers to ride the virtual coaster before the real one is even built. The software involved has created a revolution in trouser-tightening roller coaster design. But the biggest and baddest of them all is this, the Desperado. OK, so it's 5,900 foot long, and yes, it does feature the single largest, fastest drop in roller coaster history, but secure in the knowledge that every nut and bolt involved had been painstakingly tested by the computers, it was no wonder that I was super cool. Four Gs of pressure, speeds of up to 95 miles an hour, and a 295 foot drop that I'm just coming up to. This is why, A, I'm not wearing my glasses, because I'd rather they weren't welded to my face by the time I got off, and B, I have not had any breakfast. I would just like to say at this point, Mum, I love you. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! Jesus! No! Oh God! This is not funny! Oh God! <laughs> no! No! Okay! Ah! Uh, uh, it's okay. I think I'm past the worst. I think I'm past the worst. I hope the camera's worked. I hope the camera's worked because I'm not doing this again. No way. And so, with my utter hardness proven once more in front of millions of viewers, I walked off into the horizon, hoping the baking desert sun would dry my pants before I hit the next town.